Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Want an awesome and unique top loader for your commander? Then you should check out Custom Armor Plates by today's sponsor, Silver Scale Games. These plates have awesome custom designs to really make your commander stand out at your next game night. They are made of aircraft grade aluminum with a vegan suede interior, so your commander is always well protected. These custom armor plates are designed to fit in all standard deck boxes on the market, meaning you'll never have to store your commander separately from its box. The best part, in my opinion, is that you can create your own design. You can create your own artwork from their collection of elements directly inside their forge. Design it however you want, and it will be custom made just for you and delivered to your door. I love these plates and have already had one made up for my expensive Perforos deck. It is the perfect accent. Go to SilverScaleGames.com and use the promo code POWER at checkout to receive 10% off of your order. A big thanks to Silver Scale Games for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Cory, piloting the partner pair of Thrasios Triton Hero and Timna the Weaver. This is a combo deck that looks to resolve and sacrifice Protean Hulk to assemble creature-based combos. Cory's opening hand contains a Grand Abolisher, Mystic Remora, Mana Crypt, Polluted Delta, Flusterstorm, Flooded Strand, and a Cauldron Familiar. Next, we have Alana, piloting Emery, Lurker of the Lock. This is a deck that uses Emery to recur value pieces and combo with various artifacts. Alana's opening hand contains two islands, Swan Song, Moon Silver Key, Aether Spellbomb, and her London Mulligans are Merchant Scroll and Mystical Tutor. After that, we have Chris, piloting the partner pair of Dargo the Shipwrecker and Tevish Zot, Doom of Fools. This is a turbo deck that uses its commanders to sacrifice, gain value, and chain into combo finishes. Chris's opening hand contains a Swamp, Tibalt's Trickery, Lion's Eye Diamond, Ancient Tomb, Imperial Recruiter, and his London Mulligans are Final Fortune and Phyrexian Tower. Finally, we have Ryan, piloting Rocco, Cabaretti Caterer. This deck uses Rocco to tutor various creature combos, including Kiki Jiki and Felidar Guardian. Ryan's opening hand contains a Wild Growth, Somber Walled Sage, Birthing Pod, Plateau, Simeon Spirit Guide, Grand Abolisher, and a Talisman of Unity. Without further ado, let's kick off this illustrious indicative indulgent insanity. Cory wins the Monopoly game and gets to start us off. Cory draws for turn and plays a Flooded Strand. He casts a Mana Crypt. He cracks his Flooded Strand, pays a life, and fetches up a Tundra onto the battlefield. He casts a Mystic Remora. Off to a strong start, he ships the turn to Alana. Alana draws and plays an Island. She casts an Aether Spell Bomb. Mystic Remora triggers and Cory draws. She passes the turn. Chris draws and plays an Ancient Tomb. He casts a Lion's Eye Diamond. Mystic Remora triggers and Cory draws again. He sacrifices his Lion's Eye Diamond, discards his hand, and adds three black. He taps his Ancient Tomb to help cast his commander, Tevish Zot, Doom of Fools. He activates Tevish's first ability, creating two thralls. All in on his commander, Chris ends his turn. Ryan draws and plays a Plateau. He exiles Simeon Spirit Guide from his hand, adding a red. He casts Talisman of Unity. Remora triggers and Cory draws. Ryan taps his Talisman to help cast Wild Growth, enchanting his Plateau, and Cory draws from Remora. He gives the turn to Cory. During his upkeep, Cory wins his Mana Crypt roll and then pays for his Remora. He draws and plays a Mana Confluence. He taps it to help cast Grand Abolisher. He passes, discarding to hand size. Alana draws and plays an Island. She casts Transmute Artifact. Remora triggers and Cory draws. She sacrifices Aether Spell Bomb and fetches up a Soul Ring onto the battlefield. She casts a Moon Silver Key and Cory draws through Remora. She ends her turn. Chris draws and plays a Mana Confluence. He taps his Mana Confluence and Ancient Tomb and sacrifices his Thralls to help cast his other commander, Dargo the Shipwrecker. He activates Tevis' second ability, sacrificing Dargo and drawing three cards. He ships the turn. Ryan draws and casts a Somber Walled Sage. He passes. During his upkeep, Cory loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage. He also lets his Remora die. He draws and plays the City of Brass. He taps it to help cast Pattern of Rebirth, enchanting his Grand Abolisher. He taps Mana Confluence to help cast Crop Rotation, sacrificing Tundra as an additional cost. He fetches up a Phyrexian Tower onto the battlefield. He taps it for two black, sacrificing Grand Abolisher. Pattern of Rebirth triggers and Cory fetches up a Protean Hulk onto the battlefield. He casts Diabolic Intent, sacrificing Protean Hulk as an additional cost. Hulk triggers and Cory fetches up a Carrion Feeder, Samwise Gamgee, and Activated Sleeper. Activated Sleeper enters as a copy of Protean Hulk. Diabolic Intent resolves and Cory fetches up a card into his hand. He sacrifices the Sleeper to Carrion Feeder and fetches up an Academy Rector and a Collector Roof. Samwise Gamgee triggers twice and Cory creates two food. He sacrifices Academy Rector to Carrion Feeder, triggering Academy Rector. He exiles it and fetches up a Necromancy onto the battlefield. Necromancy enters and returns Protean Hulk to the battlefield. Samwise triggers and Cory creates a food. He sacrifices Protean Hulk to Carrion Feeder and fetches up a Seaborn Muse and an Esper Sentinel. Samwise triggers twice and Cory creates two more food. With enough food to feed a village of hobbits, Cory ships the turn. Cory untaps with Alana through Seaborn. Alana draws and casts her commander, Emery, Lurker of the Lock. Emery enters and Alana mills four cards, including a Thousand Year Elixir. She passes the turn. At the end of Alana's turn, Cory taps his Mana Confluence to help cast Vampiric Tutor. 
In response, Alana casts Swan Song. Esper Sentinel triggers and Cory draws. In response, Cory taps the City of Brass to help cast Veil of Summer. Veil resolves and Cory draws a card. Swan Song resolves, but Vampiric Tutor doesn't get countered through Veil. Then Cory creates a bird. Vampiric Tutor resolves and Cory fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses two life. The turn moves to Chris. Cory untaps with Chris through Seedborn. Chris draws and plays a Luxury Suite. He activates Tevisot's first ability, creating two thralls. He taps his Ancient Tomb and his Mana Confluence to help cast Fire Covenant, paying 23 life, paying the Esper Tax. In response, Cory taps his Mana Confluence to help cast Flusterstorm, countering Fire Covenant. With his plan stopped and a huge chunk of his life gone, Chris passes. At the end of Chris's turn, Cory casts a Court of Calling, where X equals 2. He fetches up a Dreneth Magistrate onto the battlefield. Cory untaps with Ryan through Seedborn. Ryan draws and casts a Grand Abolisher. In response, Cory casts Pact of Negation, countering Abolisher. Next, Ryan evokes Fury, exiling a red card. Fury enters, targeting Samwise Gamgee and Collector Roof. In response, Cory sacrifices them to Carrion Feeder, putting two plus one plus one counters onto it. Then Fury sacrifices itself. Ryan exiles an Elvish Spirit Guide from his hand, adding a green. He pays two life to help cast Birthing Pod. Cory draws through Esper Sentinel, and Ryan ships the turn. During Cory's upkeep, he loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage. He also taps his City of Brass and his Mana Confluence to help pay for his Pact of Negation. He draws and moves to combat. He attacks Tevish with everything. Chris blocks Carrion Feeder with a Thrall, the Thrall dies, and Tevish takes the rest. In his second main phase, Cory plays a Breeding Pool into play tapped. He gives the turn to Alana. Cory untaps with Alana through Seedborn. Alana draws and casts a Riddlesmith. She casts a Felwar Stone and Cory draws through Sentinel. Riddlesmith triggers and Alana draws and discards. She sacrifices Moonsilver Key, fetching up a Mox Opal into her hand. She casts Mox Opal, triggering Riddlesmith, drawing and discarding. She plays a Polluted Delta for turn. She cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up an island onto the battlefield. She passes. At the end of Alana's turn, Cory sacrifices a food, gaining three life. Cory untaps with Chris through Seedborn. Chris draws and activates Tevis's second ability, sacrificing a Thrall and drawing two cards. He taps his Ancient Tomb and his Mana Confluence to help cast Demonic Tutor. Sentinel triggers and Cory draws. He fetches up a card into his hand. He casts Dockside Extortionist. In response, Cory taps the City of Brass and his Mana Confluence to sacrifice three food, gaining nine life. Dockside enters and Chris creates eight treasures. He casts Lightning Bolt, targeting Dranath Magistrate. In response, Cory casts Force of Negation, exiling a blue card, targeting Bolt. In response, Chris activates his trap card and casts Ricochet Trap, targeting Force of Negation. Ricochet Trap resolves and changes the target of Force to Trap itself. Force fizzles and, in response to Bolt, Cory sacrifices Janeth to carry and feed her. Next, Cory casts Praetor's Grasp, targeting Ryan. He fetches up a card from Ryan's library and exiles it face down. He casts Gamble from Exile. He fetches up a card and then randomly discards Underworld Breach, which is what he tutored for. He recasts his commander, Dargo the Shipwrecker. With his wind stopped by the Magic Gods, Chris ends his turn. Cory untaps with Ryan through Seedborn. During Ryan's upkeep, Cory channels Beseju who endures, destroying Birthing Pod. Then Ryan fetches up a Taiga onto the battlefield. He draws and casts his commander, Rocco, Cabaretti Caterer, where X equals 4. Rocco enters and Ryan fetches up an Arena Rector onto the battlefield. He ships his turn. During his upkeep, Cory wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and plays a Scrubland. He taps his City of Brass to help cast his commander, Thrasios, Triton Hero. He activates Thrasios, scrying one and revealing an Entomb into his hand. He moves to combat and attacks Tevish with Carrion Feeder. Chris blocks a Dargo, Dargo dies, and Cory passes the turn. Cory untaps with Alana through Seedborn. Alana draws and casts Sensei's Divining Top. Riddlesmith triggers and Alana draws and discards. She activates Sensei's Top, looking at and rearranging the top three. She activates Top, drawing a card and putting Top on top. She activates Emery, targeting Aether Spellbomb in her graveyard. She casts Aether Spellbomb. Riddlesmith triggers and she draws and discards. She gives the turn to Chris. At the end of Alana's turn, Cory activates Thrasios, scrying one and revealing Ottawara, Soaring City, onto the battlefield tapped. He sacrifices Birds of Paradise to Phyrexian Tower, adding two black. He taps the City of Brass and his Mana Confluence to help activate Thrasios. He scries one and reveals the Survival of the Fittest into his hand. Still in her instep, Alana sacrifices Aether Spellbomb, bouncing Seedborn Muse. Chris draws and activates Tevish's second ability. He sacrifices Dockside and draws two cards. He plays a Command Tower for turn. He casts a Mayhem Devil. He ships the turn. Ryan draws and casts Eldritch Evolution, sacrificing Arena Rector as an additional cost. Arena Rector, Mayhem Devil, and Esper Sentinel trigger. Ryan pays for Esper, and Mayhem Devil deals one to Rocco, killing it. In response to the Rector trigger, Chris sacrifices a treasure and adds a red. Mayhem Devil triggers, targeting Somberwald Sage. In response, Ryan taps it for three white. Somberwald Sage dies, and Arena Rector's trigger resolves. Ryan exiles it and then fetches up a Vivian on the hunt onto the battlefield. Then Eldritch resolves and Ryan fetches up a Recruiter of the Guard onto the battlefield. Recruiter enters and Ryan fetches up a Dockside Extortionist into his hand. He activates Vivian's first ability, sacrificing Recruiter of the Guard. He fetches up a Felidar Guardian onto the battlefield. Mayhem Devil triggers, dealing one damage to Ryan. Felidar Guardian triggers, flickering Vivian. He activates Vivian, sacrificing Felidar Guardian. He fetches up a Karmic Guide onto the battlefield. Mayhem Devil triggers, dealing one damage to Ryan again. 
Karmic Guide enters and returns Felidar Guardian to the battlefield. Felidar enters, flickering Vivian. He activates Vivian again, sacrificing Felidar. He fetches up a Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker onto the battlefield. Mayhem Devil triggers, dealing one damage to Ryan. He activates Kiki, creating a copy of Karmic Guide. Karmic Guide enters, returning Felidar to the battlefield. Felidar enters and flickers Kiki. Ryan demonstrates a loop of activating Kiki, copying Felidar, and blinking Kiki each time. With this loop, he creates 10 million and one Felidar Guardians. He moves to combat, swings with everything, and Ryan wins the game. In this game, Cory is piloting Cody Vociferous Codex. This is a Turbo Nas deck that uses Cody to generate a lot of mana and then cast Profane Tutor to find Ad Nauseam. Cory's opening hand contains a Gemstone Caverns, Imperial Seal, Mystic Grimora, Darkside Extortionist, Chrome Mox, Cabal Ritual, and a Burn Offering. Chris's opening hand contains a Chrome Mox, Mana Confluence, Mana Crypt, Jessica's Will, Mana Vault, Mayhem Devil, and a Swamp. Ryan's opening hand contains a Simeon Spirit Guide, Birthing Pod, Elvish Spirit Guide, Temple Garden, Sacred Foundry, Fury, and a Carpet of Flowers. Alana's opening hand contains two islands, Scalding Tarn, Mox Opal, Mystic Grimora, Swan Song, and a Chrome Mox. And Chris gets to start us off. But Cory has a pre-game action and puts Gemstone Caverns onto the battlefield, exiling a Cabal Ritual. Chris draws and casts a Mana Crypt. He casts a Mana Vault. He plays a Mana Confluence for turn. He casts a Chrome Mox and printing Tibalt's Trickery. He taps his Mana Confluence to help cast his commander, Tevish Zot, Doom of Fools. He activates Tevish's first ability, creating two Thralls. He passes to Ryan. Ryan draws and plays a Temple Garden into play untapped, paying two life. He casts a Carpet of Flowers. He casts a Chrome Mox and printing Fury. He ships the turn. Cory draws and plays a Scalding Tarn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up an Underground Sea onto the battlefield. He casts Dockside Extortionist. Dockside enters and Cory creates five treasures. He casts Mystic Remora. He casts Imperial Seal. He fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses two life. He ends his turn. Alana draws and plays an Island. She casts a Chrome Mox. Mystic Remora triggers and Cory draws. Chrome Mox enters and Alana imprints Born Upon a Wind. She casts her own Mystic Remora and Cory draws through his Remora. She ships the turn to Chris. During his upkeep, Chris loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage. During his draw step, he takes a damage through his Mana Vault. He plays a Swamp for turn. He casts Jessica's Will, choosing both modes, targeting Alana. Both Remoras trigger and Alana and Cory draw. Jessica's Will resolves, Chris adds six red, and then exiles Cursed Mirror, Lion's Eye Diamond, and Animate Dead. He casts Cursed Mirror and Alana and Cory draw. Curse Mirror enters as a copy of Dockside Extortionist. Then Chris creates eight treasures. He taps his Mana Confluence to help cast Mayhem Devil. He sacrifices two Thralls and Mana Vault to help cast his commander, Dargo the Shipwrecker. Mayhem Devil triggers three times and Chris deals two to Dockside, killing it, and one to Cory. He activates Tevish's second ability, sacrificing Dargo to draw three cards. Mayhem Devil triggers and deals one to Cory. He sacrifices two treasures to help cast Animate Dead, targeting Dockside Extortionist. Alana and Cory draw through Remora and Mayhem Devil deals two to Cory. In response, Cory casts Force of Will, paying a life, exiling a blue card, targeting Animate Dead. Remora triggers and Alana draws. In response, Chris sacrifices a treasure to help cast Ricochet Trap for its alternate cost, targeting Force of Will. Mayhem Devil and both Remoras trigger. Alana and Cory draw and Mayhem Devil deals one damage to Cory. Ricochet Trap resolves, changing the target of Force of Will to Ricochet Trap itself. Force fizzles and Animate Dead resolves, returning Dockside Extortionist to the battlefield. Dockside enters and Chris creates eight more treasures. He sacrifices seven treasures to help cast Peer into the Abyss. Remora and Mayhem Devil triggers seven times. Chris deals seven to Cory, then Chris sacrifices four more treasures to pay for Remora. Mayhem Devil triggers four times, dealing four more to Cory. In response to Peer, Alana casts Swan Song. Swan Song resolves, Peer is countered, and Chris creates a 2 2 bird. He casts Lion's Eye Diamond and Alana and Cory draw. He sacrifices a treasure to help recast Dargo. Mayhem Devil triggers and deals one damage to Cory. With that insane turn finally over, Chris gives the turn to Ryan. Ryan draws and in his first main phase he has one red through his carpet of flowers. He plays a Sacred Foundry into play untapped, paying two life. He casts a Birthing Pod. Alana and Cory draw through Remora and Ryan ends his turn. During his upkeep, Cory pays to keep his Remora. He draws and plays a Forbidden Orchard. He casts Chrome Mox and Alana draws. It enters and he imprints a Snapback. He sacrifices two treasures and taps Forbidden Orchard to help cast Ad Nauseam, giving Alana the spirit. Mayhem Devil triggers twice, dealing two to Cory, and then Alana draws through Remora. Ad Nauseam resolves, and Cory reveals a Time Twister, Deflecting Swat, Reign of Filth, Vampiric Tutor, Brain Freeze, Red Elemental Blast, Ancient Tomb, an Offer You Can't Refuse, Alchemist Retrieval, and an Elvish Spirit Guide, deciding to stop there. Unfortunately, low on life and not getting anything off of the Ad Nauseam, Cory passes, discarding the hand size. During her upkeep, Alana pays to keep her Mystic Remora. She draws and plays an island. She moves to combat and attacks Cory with the spirit. Cory takes it, and in her second main phase, Alana casts Tormod's Crypt. Remora triggers and Cory draws. She casts Mox Opal and Cory draws again. She casts her commander, Emery, Lurker of the Lock. Emery enters and Alana mills four, including a Grim Monolith and the One Ring. She casts Mox Amber and Cory draws. She passes, discarding to hand size. 
During Chris's upkeep, he wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and activates Tevish's second ability. He sacrifices Dargo to draw three cards. Mayhem Devil triggers and deals one to Emery. He plays the Cavern of Souls, naming Pirate as it enters. He casts a Forerunner of the Coalition. Forerunner enters and Chris fetches up a Dockside Extortionist onto the top of his library. He sacrifices Chromox, Dockside, and the Bird to help recast Dargo. Mayhem Devil triggers three times, dealing one to Cory, killing him, and two to Emery. Dargo enters, Forerunner of the Coalition triggers, and Ryan and Alana each lose one life. He sacrifices the treasure to help cast Cabal Ritual. Alana draws through Remora and Mayhem Devil deals one to Alana. Cabal Ritual resolves and Chris adds three black. He taps his Mana Confluence to help cast Obnixilus the Adversary, sacrificing Dargo as the casualty cost. Alana draws through Remora and Mayhem Devil deals one to her. Both Obnixilus resolve and Cory activates the copy's third ability, drawing seven and losing seven life. He taps his Cavern of Souls to help cast Dockside Extortionist. Dockside enters and Chris creates eight treasures. He casts Feed the Swarm, targeting Mystic Remora. Alana draws once more before it gets destroyed and then Chris loses a life. He casts Jeweled Lotus. He sacrifices a treasure and Dockside to help cast Culling the Weak. Mayhem Devil triggers and deals two to Alana. Culling resolves and Chris adds four black. He casts Imperial Seal. He fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses two life. He sacrifices Jeweled Lotus, adding three red and dealing one to Alana through Mayhem Devil. He casts Ad Nauseam. Ad Nauseam resolves and he reveals a Phyrexian Altar, Underworld Breach, Spire of Industry, Mountain, Demonic Tutor, Goblin Bombardment, and a Simeon Spirit Guide, deciding to stop there. He exiles Simeon Spirit Guide from his hand, adding a red. He casts Phyrexian Altar. He recasts Dargo. In response, Alana casts Resculpt, targeting Phyrexian Altar. In response, Chris sacrifices Forerunner of the Coalition to the Altar, adding a red. Resculpt resolves, Altar is exiled, and Chris creates a 4-4 Elemental. With his plan stopped again, Chris passes to Ryan. Ryan draws, and in his first main phase, he adds two red through his carpet. He casts a Lotus Petal. He sacrifices it to help cast his commander, Rocco, Cabaretti Caterer, where X equals 3. Mayhem Devil triggers, dealing 1 to Alana. Rocco enters and fetches up a Skyclave Apparition onto the battlefield. Skyclave enters, targeting Tormod's Crypt. In response, Alana sacrifices it, exiling Chris's graveyard. Ryan ends his turn. Alana draws and plays an Ancient Tomb. She casts a Mana Ball. She casts Soul Guide Lantern. Ryan sinks his head as he thought he already dealt with that problem. Lantern enters and exiles Lotus Petal from Ryan's graveyard. She casts an Aether Spell Bomb. She taps Ancient Tomb to help cast Arcane Signet. She ships the turn to Chris. During his upkeep, Chris loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage. He draws and plays a Mountain. He casts Demonic Tutor. He fetches up a card into his hand. He sacrifices the treasure to help cast Relic of Legends. Mayhem Devil triggers and deals one to the Spirit. He taps Dargo through Relic to cast Goblin Bombardment. In response, Alana sacrifices Aether Spellbond to draw a card, digging for an answer. She does not find it, and Goblin Bombardment resolves. Chris sacrifices Dargo through Goblin Bombardment, dealing one damage to Alana. Mayhem Devil triggers, dealing another one damage to Alana. Chris sacrifices Cursed Mirror and the Elemental to recast Dargo. In response, Alana sacrifices Soul Guide Lantern to draw a card. Once again, she does not find what she's looking for. Chris demonstrates a loop of tapping Dargo for mana through Relic of Legends and sacrificing it to Goblin Bombardment, dealing one damage to each opponent. He uses his floating mana to recast Dargo, reduced through his sacrifices to Goblin Bombardment. He repeats this over and over, dealing one damage to each opponent until they are dead, and Chris wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a wild series of games tonight. Congrats to Ryan and Chris on their wins. In Game 1, Cory got off to a great start, sacrificing and reanimating Protean Hulk to build a massive board quickly. Unfortunately, he had his kill spell in his hand and couldn't tutor it out with Hulk. Ryan used this opportunity to sneak in a win while Cory was trying to close it out. In Game 2, Chris kept jamming Haymaker after Haymaker, constantly forcing Alana and Cory to have interaction until he finally got a combo through to win. The most valuable card in tonight's games, sponsored by Luxury Playstyle, goes to Mayhem Devil. It dealt so much damage over the course of the game. While we didn't see it tonight, it also shuts off certain combos and kills stacks pieces. It is a powerful card in Rakdos decks that want to sacrifice and reanimate Dockside Extortionists and other cards multiple times. Well that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time when we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.